Welcome to Technology Learning Space YouTube channel. In this video, we are gonna start a new topic, configuring big IP DNS. This is the first video in the series. This course is prepared with theory, demo and lab guide that will be helpful to practice it. Virtual edition provided by big IP will be used in this demo for lab purpose. Configuring big IP DNS course includes following topics. In the first video, we combined two topics, Big IP DNS Introduction and Overview of DNS and DNS Resolution Flow through Big IP DNS. Other topics in the course will be released in the coming videos. Understanding the concept of Big IP DNS is our first step. So this video will help you to understand what is Big IP, its deployment options, licensing options available with the Big IP. The important part is how DNS works and to know how Big IP DNS works. We expect application to be fast, secure and always available. Anything less in this era is unacceptable. Big IP DNS improve performance and availability of your global application by sending users to the closest or best performing physical, virtual or cloud environment. DNS is the first place where every user gonna hit to access your application and then it gets the IP address and start transferring and processing data. A big IP DNS work in the first place as a DNS server and use its intelligence to find the available and best performing resources and that help users to access the best performing server. Hackers are more active and performing well than any time. Securing a service is more inevitable than anything. Big IP DNS can secure DNS from DDoS attack and deliver real-time DNS security solution that protect against attack. Big IP DNS can hyperscale up to 100 million response per second. This helps to meet your growth to any high through Big IP. How you want to deploy FY? You can deploy FY as a hardware appliance, virtual edition, or cloud. Hardware is offered from F5. F5 have a wide range of models to meet enterprise loads starting from i2000 to i15000 series. Virtual Edition offer you a budgetary plan with two type of licensing option. Virtual Edition subscription you can purchase it as a single product including service. Enterprises license is the other option which offers a comfortable annual price based on a predictable budget by considering previous year usage. F5 offer further flexibility. You can integrate solutions with public cloud providers like Amazon, Microsoft Azure and Google Cloud Platform. Private cloud and open source platforms are also supported such as OpenStack, VMware and OpenShift. Two things matter when you want to buy big IP DNS. What are the products you want from big IP family and which platform you gonna use for big IP DNS. Good, better and best are the three bundles available or you can customize and buy as a standalone products. The better bundle is the minimum required for big IP DNS. A good bundle is enough if LTM is the only requirement. Three platforms are available for you to run Big IP. You can buy as a hardware from FY or virtual edition runs on any uh, standard hypervisor like uh, VMware or Hyper-V or you can choose cloud environment also. Before we dive into Big IP DNS, it is necessary to have a clear idea about uh, DNS and uh, how DNS works. DNS domain naming system translate domain names into IP address. Let us take an example. When you visit itprogate.com a website, a DNS server hosting itprogate.com will answer you with IP address of the website error code. Then your browser makes HTTPS connection and a web page will appear on your screen. This is what we all know about DNS. Now we are going to see how DNS is actually working for you. Step 1. When you request for a website, it sends a query to local DNS server 
to resolve it. If the local DNS server does not hold any record for this domain, as a second step it will query for a list of root server which hold the name server IP address of top level domain like .com, .net, .info, etc. Step 4. The local DNS server will send a query for second level domain name server to the TLD server. Here in our case itprogate.com. So itprogate is a second level domain. So the DNS local DNS will send a query to the TLD servers for the second level domain name server itprogate. In step 5 the local DNS server will receive the IP address of hosting server. As I said for example IT Pro Guide is hosted in Wix DNS. So in this case TLD name server will send the IP address of Wix name servers. In step 6 the local DNS server asks for the IP address to hosting server. If you are visiting IT Pro Guide as I said then this query will go to Wix name server and Wix will send back the IP address of the website. In the next step the local DNS server will forward it to the client and the client will make a connection with the website. This is how a DNS actually working for you. This traditional uh, DNS system works fine uh, but when we talk about availability and uh, performance uh, this system has some drawbacks. Uh, lack of uh, global server load balancing will stop us from distributing the workloads uh, to different uh, geographical area and there is no method to monitor a failed server in a cluster this keeps uh, the request forward to uh, failed servers and requests are balanced by uh, round robin method which is uh, more utilized or which is more performing is not considered in the load balancing decision and mistakes may happen as there is no validation when you uh, create a new DNS entry or when you edit a DNS entry and performance issue may arise if your uh, server use the HDD for DNS resolution process. The same picture we explained for uh, DNS, I just uh, replaced uh, hosting servers with two big IP DNS server. Formerly the big IP DNS was called as a global traffic management uh, server. So when there is a query for a website, for example, itproguide.com, the local DNS server will get the IP address of uh, big IP DNS server from TLD servers. Because the TLD servers, uh, when, it lo when the local DNS server look up for the IP address of itproguide.com, it will give big IP DNS servers as a name server address. So next the query will forward to big IP DNS server. DNS listener in big IP DNS will check uh, the request and uh, based upon the big IP DNS configuration a record belong to the domain name will be forwarded and ISP resolve it to the client. Let us take uh, one example to understand it uh, clearly. IT Pro Guide was registered and hosted in Godaddy all its record held in uh, godaddy dns server it means uh, any request to come from any client uh, godaddy dns will resolve it for me so it seems a uh, traffic uh, to my website increasing i need performance improvement and uh, high availability so i implement a big ip dns so what is the change here all the records uh, from the godaddy like a record mx record i moved to big ip dns and godaddy has configured with uh, name server ip addresses that is big ip dns server address next time godaddy will ask the local dns servers looking for ip address of it pro guide to go and ask big ip dns server so here onwards all the query for itproguide.com will be resolved from big ip dns server instead of godaddy dns hence by this way i can utilize the features offered by big IP DNS and I can meet my visitors growth without compromising performance and availability. All the time we spend uh, till now is to understand the concept of big IP DNS. Now we are gonna talk about how big IP DNS 
works. Familiarize with the terminology is the first step into that. I have a website running at uh, three sites, let's say site A, site B and site C. And you can see I have uh, two physical servers at each site and are balanced using F5 local traffic management at site A and site B. At site C, I use another vendor for load balancing. So whoever responsible for this load balancing are called as a server in big IP DNS. So it is not mandatory that it should be F5 LTM. It can be anyone who is responsible for this load balancing. Next, the virtual IP configured in the local traffic management or the third party device and the service port together called as a virtual server in big IP DNS. For example, let us take the virtual IP first one 192.168.20.10 is a virtual IP uh, of the first LTM and the service it is going to provide is HTTP so port 80. So the virtual server here is 192.168.20.10 plus the port 80. So this together is called as virtual server. Next is pool. Pool is nothing which just hold one or more virtual servers. So a pool can be with one virtual server or multiple virtual server. Then the other term is a wide IP. A wide IP maps a fully qualified domain name like itproguide.com or google.com or example.com to one or more pools of the virtual servers that host the content of a domain. This is what wide IP. Next is a DNS listener. A listener uh, passively check for the DNS packets on port 53 and the IP address you assign to the listener. When a DNS query is uh, sent to the IP address of the listener, the big IP GTM either handle the request locally or forward the request to appropriate resource. Now it is more easy to understand uh, big IP DNS uh, working because uh, you know what is a DNS, you know how it is working and you are familiar with the uh, terminologies that comes in big IP DNS. So let's uh, go through the same example. A client is querying for a website, for example, uh, www.itproguide.com to the local DNS. So the local DNS will uh, query to the root server and finally the big IP DNS listener receive the query for itproguide.com. The wide IP associated to uh, itproguide.com makes a load balancing decision on what pool to send the request to. You can see we have two pools, pool 1 and pool 2. Let's assume the wide IP configuration choose uh, to uh, send the request to pool 1. The chosen pool, pool 1, makes a secondary load balancing decision on what virtual servers to send the request to. So once it uh, decided, the virtual server IP is returned to the originating local DNS server. So here the client is more happy because they were routed to a regionally located server with a faster response time. Big IP DNS uh, overcome all the drawbacks that we have in uh, traditional DNS. Big IP DNS offer uh, full uh, global server load balancing capabilities and which can offer you true availability because uh, it monitor every resources in uh, every data center and on only uh, resolve to working addresses and um, you have a static and uh, dynamic load balancing capability in order to resolve to the best available address a zone runner is a tool uh, that you can uh, use uh, for editing address records and that validate uh, your input Performance is faster now compromise because the resolution process uh, uh, typically is done uh, reading your record from a RAM and there is a DDoS protection, uh, easier configuration for uh, DNS security and F5 analytics visibility that provide information about uh, your resolutions also. Thank you for uh, watching this video. Uh, subscribe this channel for uh, more videos. We completed now two topics uh, from this uh, configuring big IP DNS course. Uh, the other topics will be released uh, soon. So uh, you can uh, subscribe so you will be notified uh, uh, for the new releases. Thank you for watching this video.